हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल माय नेम इज क्षितिज एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ट्यूनिंग इन आई न्यू यू गाइस मस्ट बी कंफ्यूज लाइक व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन और इज दिस इवन माय चैनल वेल इट इज माय न्यू चैनल इट विल बी अबाउट टेक्स जफ लाइक कंप्यूटर्स एंड सो ऑन एंड आई होप यू एंजॉय इट इफ यू डू डू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल आई रियली होप टू पोस्ट मोर टेक्स जफ इन द फ्यूचर ऑल्दो इट विल बी क्वाइट रेयर ऑल्सो इफ यू न्यू टू दिस चैनल आई ऑल्सो हैव अ चैनल रिगार्डिंग कार्स so do follow that as well i'll add the link at the end of this video so in today's video we'll talk about an issue that has come several times in my laptop and i have sorted it out recently i and i want to share with this with you guys as well so if you're not familiar with this laptop this is my hp di 2001 tx i bought it last year and i have made a video on it as well if you haven't seen that video i'll add the video at the end of this video as usual so let's talk about this issue so the issue was that whenever i started up my system this message used to pop up in my boot process like it says assertion failed with microsoft visual c++ runtime library and it shows this issue every time i start up my system now this issue wasn't a big of a deal it didn't hamper any of my system process or made my system slow but it kind of bugged me a quite a lot so i this is decided to address it and check out the internet for various remedies or solutions to it and truth be told none of them worked as such while many said to delete certain programs or to install certain programs or to use command prompt which is a solution i will recommend to you using command prompt i'll come to that as well but the issue for me in this particular scenario was a issue related to adobe programs one of the program wasn't working well so i deleted everything related to adobe and it finally sorted it out after i restarted my system so here is my command prompt and i have used it as a administrator that means whenever you open this always use the use as administrator option so here you can see it shows all of these lines of code so all you have to do to sort out your issue is write one single line of code which i'll show you in a sec So here is the code it says b c d e t i t set increase user v a 2800 now if i press enter to this it shows me the operation has been complete successfully so all you have to do now is can close this command prompt and restart your system and that hopefully should sort out your problem so that was it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed and found this video useful if you did do like this video and once again subscribe to this channel thank you so much for your help i'll see you guys soon bye